there this is Wahid from VRF Education channel and welcome to another session on Django admin panel customization in this session we are going to focus on add view or add area uh, right now we just uh, do some basic customization on this area and uh, change the field ordering uh, group the field together uh, create groups of fields and stuff like that but today we are going to see how we can customize the field in another way for example if we want to change the field uh, label till now Django used uh, the field name inside our mother class as the labels but we can also change the field labels based on our requirements and also we can control over the forms using mother form class we need to create a class inherit from mother form and we can apply some other customization for example the field ordering um, the field visibility also and the most important things is the field validation we can validate the model or the input from the user into our models field by field and check if uh, the values that a user entered is somehow um, is under control and appropriate for our business or not okay let's go and see how we can do this uh, customization to our ad area well in this session we are supposed to work on uh, this form this form uh, usually created uh, by Django automatically and uh, we have some options to take control over the creation and customization of this form let's see how we can do this so here we have uh, three different fields and uh, the order of the fields is somehow correspondent to the order of their declaration inside our model class and also these fields that come in bold uh, they are somehow required field and if you press save without entering anything it says this field is required and also a big error appeared inside uh, our uh, add area page now let's see how we can customize this form first of all we can change the order so for people or for person class no this was yeah this is for person class I'm going to change the ordering by using fields param, uh, fields uh, inside our admin class so we, we talked about it in previous session so I'm going to say I need to show first name at first and then last name last name and after that courses let's say it's course or courses well it's courses yeah courses where is it and that's it let's refresh the page yeah continue so this time first name comes first and last name uh, after that and after that we have courses now let's see how we can uh, change the labels here we have a method that the name is def gets underline form let's delete um, unnecessary information and I don't need change also and also return type so I'm not going to pass change to super so here we have our form classes now I'm gonna say form dot for um, where is yeah that's it okay at return I'm gonna save it inside an instance or a variable named form so form dot base underline fields fields so for first name first underline name I'm gonna say the label is something like this first uh, name and then in parentheses for example human only present a human name only not anything else and after that I'm gonna return for so let's see what happened if I re if I go to people page and add person so we can see first name and human only so I can change the label easily using this method getting the form from the class and customize it so that's it now I want to look for some forbidden names for example oops if someone enter a spike as the name it's not a human name and I'm, I'm gonna raise a custom error so let's see how we can do this this time we can uh, take control over form creation by creating a custom form class 
I'm going to create a person admin form class that inherit from forms dot model form and uh, I think uh, we need to import from Django Django import forms so and here inside the meta class we're going to uh, specify the model that this form gonna work for so this is person and also the fields fields I'm gonna say I need all of your fields and then after that I'm gonna say that say what um, define a method named clean underline first underline name and pass the self as a parameter so here I'm gonna say if self dot uh, cleaned data it's a dictionary so for first name if it's equal to spike it's a forbidden name so we cannot use it just raise an error raise an exception it's form from inside forms dot forms dot validation error I said no vampire and that's it and let's correct it and if uh, everything is okay and we have a valid name I'm gonna say return self dot Kalin's data mm. first underline name return this as our first name so that's it and inside our person admin class instead of providing fields you need to provide form okay and uh, inside the form I'm gonna say you use person admin form as your mm, form for uh, admin panel so if I refresh you can see the order again get to its original and if I press save it says the field is required the field is required and if I enter something so the error gone but if I uh, enter something like this spike and something for this field if I press save it says no vampire so the validation completely uh, occurred and we make sure uh, before we continue on saving things we should make sure that our data is clean and uh, let's add a logic for our last name I want to have our last name length uh, something greater than uh, four character so again I'm gonna copy this one and here you need to do this notation clean underline your field name last this is last M I'm gonna say if last name inside the clean data mm, the length of it is less than four okay raise from that validation too short for last name otherwise return it it's okay for me now let's see if I refresh the page I continue and the error changed so what if I enter something uh, that length is uh, more than four characters so the error gone but if you enter something less than four that customized error will be shown too short for last name so this is the way that you can take control over the forms and there's other things uh, related to uh, these things so I'm gonna record another video for this Django forms and how you can fully control your uh, form in Django so I hope you enjoy the content of this session and till next session and another customization for our admin panel goodbye